Hello, everybody, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Deponia Doomsday. It's not called Keep Off Deponia, it's called Deponia Doomsday, I promise. So I didn't even know this game was coming out until a few days ago when one of my viewers informed me. So I had, I, I had no idea, but it just came out today, I just downloaded it fresh, right as soon as it was released. And I am happy to be able to play this. This is the fourth game in the Deponia series. I, if, if you've seen my Deponia games, uh, Let's Plays, which you should before you watch this one, or at least play them for yourself, uh, it's, I, I, you can, you, I was upset at the ending of the last game. Let's just say that, and you know the reasons why. I explained them, but with the release of this fourth game, those, the reason I was upset now no longer exists. So yeah, I am so happy that they decided to make a fourth Deponia game. Uh, who knows if there will be more after this, but uh, this one of course will be blind. I've had no chance to play any of this game whatsoever. I just opened it to see if it worked and that was it. So this will be 100% blind. So uh, let's put my uh, point and click adventure skills to the test and start a fresh new game. Like I said, either watch my LPs or play the games yourself. There is, uh, on Steam, for 40 bucks, you can get Deponia the Complete Journey, which is the first three games all put into one big game. So yeah, you should get that. Let's start a new game. The end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built... A spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home. Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. Our bastion of hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> he saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh! Oh, you don't like this ending? No, I didn't. Still hoping for something more upbeat? I was. Well. It's like I said, endings and sharks, don't tempt them. Though, I gotta admit, even after all this time, I, I keep asking myself, if I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? fast as they came at changing the tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening few blocks. I had to hurry. Ah, uh, yeah, let's play the tutorial. And I should be... I should turn on the subtitles. I didn't realize it wouldn't already come with subtitles. Alright. Oh, it's not... So it's not the same tutorial as the first three games. That sucks. Oh well. 
pretty sure I already know the controls, but let's just go through them anyway, just in case. The Edward Snowman was no beauty. It was all I had left. The Edward Snowman. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, so I... See, I love this uh, function where you press the uh, space bar, and it shows you stuff you can click on. So there's interact and, and look, we already know that. The Edward Snowman was no beauty, oh, yeah. is all. Okay, so, let's go down the ladder. Oh, epic. Yeah, I, I already did, but it's going to make me do the it Edward again. Edward was all. Chris is empty, the object doesn't have a corresponding action. Yes, yes. Around a movie character, you can leave a scene by using exit. The scene's exit at the right edge of the screen. Leave the screen instantly, just double click. I love that function too. Let me see if I can turn on the subtitles. There we go. Who the heck is this guy anyway? Hit spray can you pick up the item by left clicking it. Alright. Uh what spray can? Oh there it is down there. Fulock yellow. Definitely not my favorite color. <laughs> Some punk had sprayed no hope on the blast tower door. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. I guess that's Deponian writing. Let's see, what else can we look at? The Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, if anyone is going to blow this planet to hell, then it's going to be us. What a joke. Let's we'll see if we can go inside. Nothing. The Organon had sealed the door to the blast As if oh, to yeah, say, what a joke. You already said that. Okay. So let's grab this. Okay, scroll down, good. I hated it when it was scroll up. Come on, items. Hmm. Oh, we have a lighter. I didn't even bother to look. What the heck? Okay. The lighter was more than just a sentimental souvenir. It also started fires. Oh. So let's see if we can't melt that lock. because I don't know where else I can go. Oh, I can only interact with it when I'm up here. Even the box with the emergency blowtorch was frozen shut. Pretty damn ironic. <laughs> Alright, so we grab the items, scroll back up, and... Alright. So yeah, that was already stuff I all knew. Already knew. The blowtorch did what blowtorches do best. Now the marshmallows were all gone. Like everything <laughs> else eventually. Good use of the blowtorch, blow torch, dude, whoever you are. Out of this bolt. The bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. Oh, 
Oh, it's one of these scenes. Like the blowtorch. This is not working. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh! Okay. This, uh... Does not bode well. So I'm guessing you have to like get all of them. There we go. It's easier to cut through the seal than I thought. I almost wished it had taken longer. Now the way was clear. Here goes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You already said that. Hey! Hey! Oh, I know what to do. Yeah, I don't think you can die in this game. You couldn't die in the last three games. Alright. Oh. Where's the okay, here we go. Ah. Looking as fast as I possibly can, trust me. What, seriously? I'm like clicking both my mouse and my like clicky thing on my keyboard, whatever that's called. Oh, there's a timer on the upper on the thing. Okay, seriously. I'm clicking as fast as I possibly can. My wrist is starting to hurt. No, 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 no. Did I do it? Okay, I did it. No! Oh! Come on! This is really getting annoying. Oh, it's not gonna make it again. My wrist is starting to hurt bad! Okay, come on! Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Pull, grab the pole. Okay. No! Oh. Click, 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 click. Okay. Use the pole. Un unlock. Oh, jeez, that was annoying. <laughs> Oh man. I have to shake my wrists out now. Breath from my chest. You could see everything from up here. The destruction. The hopelessness. And the button that would simultaneously release the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. Let's see. The door would hold them off for now. Chill ran down my spine when I saw the bomb. Now they just snow in my hood. But there I lay in the snow. Broken, burnt out, and shattered. Elysium. Symbol of hope. <laughs> Talk about kitsch. Wow, so, uh. Remember they were trying to make a uh, plan to save Deponia about the same time saving Elysium, but I guess it didn't work. I guess uh, Cletus just didn't have the chops for it like Rufus does, or did, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it. All right. The end of <coughs> the <coughs> frog in my throat. <laughs> the end of the road for me. Typical. Even Armageddon is rusted over. Just you 
wait. So look, Rufus is alive. He survived that crash. Uh-oh. So let's Dr. Strangelove this thing and... Ride the bomb. Uh. Stop that! Okay. Stop that! Stop that! Forget it! Thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill the gap in memory. Living in the waste was not to your taste, but soon you will gaze true straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the stage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with. Looking for loopholes and wondering what if. I am so happy right now. <laughs> oh, achievement! Huzzah! He's back. What a nightmare! I was old and had a mustache. All my friends were dead, and the Lysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I blew the pony up. <laughs> Talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? <sighs> Luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet Tony about it. Hmm. So was that just a dream? Huh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about the winter. <laughs> Let's see if we can't, uh, start that back up. Nothing in the inventory. I used that to build my rocket harpoon. Or, wait, that was only in my dream, right? Man, this is confusing. Hmm. But wait, he said his sweet Tony, as in Tony, his old ex-girlfriend? What is going on? Let's see, what else can we interact with? Ah, bubble wrap. Don't look. Otherwise, it'll keep me from working for days. Again. <laughs> Bubble wrap from the post office. What was I going to do with it again? Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. Okay. Um, all I have is a wrench <laughs> right now. Sweet! The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. <laughs> so we've gone all the way back to before Deponia 1. To Elysium! Huh? What now? Oh, damn! The stove is still out! How stupid of me. <laughs> and I wanted to take Tony with me, too. Oh, he still loved Tony at this point. That stuff is just for looks. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. Okay. True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. So wait, what did I just take? Junk! Oh, right. 
These cryptic signs have been becoming more and more common lately, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. Odd. Okay. If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? That is actually a very good question. Time to get to work. No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream! I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organ on conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. <laughs> Alright, let's grab the bubble wrap then. So far the game's easy enough, but uh, that'll probably change. Okay, so... Grab that. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Hey, stop! You can't park here. Oh, uh, you... oh. Oh boy, somehow my vision missed this. Who the heck? Hey you, hello, you can't park here. <laughs> okay. Let's give them what for. Hey, you there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh, yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... Who are you, anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Strictly speaking, I'm actually not meant to be talking to you. At least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing towards no. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. Do you understand? No contact. Well, you kind of ruined that when you backed into my stuff. What are you doing there anyway? You don't want to know that, believe me. <laughs> totally. Then stop asking me questions. No contact. It's essential. What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that. It's... One minute. What did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked! Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness. Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize. <laughs> your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yep, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh. Uh, okay. Um... What are you doing there, anyway? I'm looking for time anomalies. Well, you found one. I don't want to brag, but I'm almost a singularity myself. My display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time split. That's serious. It's like a split end. In time. Well, my hair is healthy and vigorous. The quantum foam is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in perpetuity. 
<laughs> you sound like my girlfriend, Tony. Okay. Who are you, anyway? My name is McChronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Porta Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McConicon? <laughs> yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? Okay. <laughs> what happened to no contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred. But we can make it unoccur if we follow my plan. Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... Turn back time. Say, do you keep hearing that strange sound too? Okay. What's the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before our reverse park. You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional <laughs> wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my... turning this crank here? No! Wait! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo! Mr. Rufus! Huh? What? Wait a minute. I know you. You're Mr. McCromnickel. McCronicle. But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture. But while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want a repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon. No, it would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure, what the hell? Hit it! Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why isn't he doing anything? Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, what? What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. Nope, nope. Uh, uh. Huh? What? Oh no, not again! Well, what is going on here anyway? What the? Hello? <laughs> this is very odd. So, uh, why is it Rufus seems to be remember what, be remembering what hasn't even happened yet? And perhaps we could put that time machine to use. Well, let's figure these things out together next time on Let's Play Deponia Doomsday. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.